People definitely can depend on you to come through on the feature too. I'm gonna say that. We all know that though. I think, oh, this, this is an open verse on this one. T one. Shout out to T one. Um, that's my brother. Um, he came to me and was like, I want to do a record with you, but we gotta keep it clean. <laughs> and at first I was like, <laughs> but no, I I went in there and I did it and I accomplished it and it was a hit. Keeping it clean. <laughs> yes, because as y'all know, back then T one was then. a gospel artist. So he just, you know, all his music was clean. So I mean, know, and I respected that. So you definitely was a feature killer, and we left off on on the favorite features, and we got kind of deep or whatever. But you struck a nerve because I like I like to hear I like to hear basically the other perspective or whatever. On you know, I like to hear just. I like to be surprised. That's why I like doing this podcast and stuff, man. The Roll Up Part 3, Roll Up 55, we still here with Miss Pretty Eyes. Pet Peeve, put the pretty nets to the E. Please put the pretty nets to the E, you know what I'm saying? Major Pet Peeve, I ain't know that. I, did, I, I should know that, though. I mean, I, I feel like I had to correct a few people or whatever on that. And, um... But yeah, uh, where are we? Where are we? Where are we? Me moving down Atlanta, and you kind of like basically, you kind of was distracted from music too. You kind of had that money was distracting you from the music a little bit. I kind of, I kind of abandoned you, like oh, you know, so I can say that, but you know, I. I respect the fact that you still was coming to Atlanta, you know, and you still was like, you know, but money and relationships, I don't know what you had in your personal life, but I feel like you started drifting away from music and the money was still good. You was, it's like, it ain't like you making, you know what I'm saying? You making money off music, but you making money, period. So it's like, all right, you got kind of drifty and music kind of came the back burner, but you still, like I, I admit, like without me, you kind of still flex. Uh, uh, you flex your muscles on in, in different ways. You kind of like you adapt. Right. You kind of start switching it up. All kind of hustles. Like you got, you got a lot of different more, a lot more talents than just rapping and, and looking good. So let's talk about the business side. When you had to kind of leave rap alone and get into that business. Yeah, man. You know, I love music. You know, don't get me wrong. It's, it's my passion. and I love to do it. Love to entertain. You know, love to be in front of the camera. Love to shake that ass and all of that. But that wasn't paying the bills. Um, in fact, I was taking my and earn money and trying to put it into the music if you want me to be for real so it was never paying the bills um so i had to kind of tap into a few things um business wise um you know to make sure that i'm able to provide for my family um because i'm a mother of two 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 girls um so at the end of the day i gotta do and focus on what puts food on the table. Does that make sense? Yeah. So, yeah. And right now, you know, I have a spa business. Um, you know, I'm doing massages, nude erotic, erotic, um, you know, deep tissue, um, neuro, whatever you want. You know, I'm doing that. And then um, I'm also doing his and hers logistics. Um, which is a trucking business. So I've tapped into that. Um, and I still have my OnlyFans. I still have my website. It's still making money. Um, however, I took all the sexual content down. Um, 
You can no longer go to OnlyFans for sexual content. The only thing you'll see when you go on there is some nice photos, um, some music videos. Um, yeah, you got more than t- more content than just yeah. sexual content. Yeah, yeah, I have a lot of, of stuff going on. So I'm just like not there anymore um, with the sex, whole sexual thing. Um, you know, I, I did, I did, I, you know, I, I tapped into that, um, and I'm just not there anymore. Um, you know, let's be clear. I released the whole sex tape. Okay. Um, I released it on my OnlyFans. I had the whole city subscribing. People from the UK was subscribing to see my OnlyFans. Um, so, you know, so, I mean, I tapped into that world. I gave you guys, you know, a, a, a different side of me. Um, but I'm just not there anymore. So I'm transitioning into this businesswoman slash entrepreneur, you know, and I just want to be successful at the end of the day. So don't judge me, okay, for anything I did in the past, because y'all asses ain't perfect either, okay? Just know that the people who have supported me throughout that little, you know, time, I appreciate you, you know, my fans, you know, my loyal people, because I had people who have been subscribing with me since the beginning, and I've had it for almost two years. So you guys are loyal, y'all dedicated, I fuck with y'all, I love y'all, okay? I'm just tapping into a different side of me now, okay? So hopefully you love that part of me, because it's so much more to me, okay? Um, But yeah, so. Yeah, that's real. That's real, man. Um, I mean, you adapt. You gonna make, you gonna make money. Like you gonna make money. One way or another, you gonna get to it. Cause gonna I mean, get this money, baby. And uh, we ain't gonna have to fuck to do it. We ain't gonna have to take these clothes off. We ain't gonna have to finesse no niggas. Uh uh-uh. uh. We ain't gonna have to do that. We gonna hustle and we gonna work and we gonna grind and we gonna pray. That's what we gonna do. That's what we gonna do. Okay. Period. Yeah. And um so logistics and truckers like massages. Yes, they do. Everybody like massages. You know, I, I never listen. I was always told I was good with my hands, but I never thought that I would be dependent on, so to speak. People text me and be like, hey, I need you tonight. I need you right now. Can I see you? My neck is hurting, my back is hurting, and I don't even know if they be lying or telling the truth, but they they be ready to spend that money. So I'd be like, come on, (laughs) you know, and then the reviews speak for itself. They tell me I make them feel good. Um, I have people who fall asleep on my table. Like they literally fall asleep, y'all, like, I'd be having to wake them up like, hey, you're done. So obviously I'm doing something right, okay? Maybe the sound of my voice when I'm talking to them, maybe the touch of my hands, maybe so, I mean, his ass on them, I, I don't know, but I'm doing something right. So, yeah, I mean, cause I, feel, I feel like you could just talk somebody about their money, really, like, but at the same time, <laughs> like, they love you, so one way or another, like, you know. I'm a but lovable person. It, it, it's, you're I'm not just, worried just, about basically the massage thing. People just trying to get near you as far as, and they just want to get a massage or whatever to get near you. Yeah, but then I have people who really need them. I have a lot of people who work out, you know, and they're sore, and they really could use these massages. But I'm not going to sit up here in front like some people probably don't book me just to see me. You know, because with one of my massages, you get to touch me. So you already know niggas is booking for that. Let me get that. <laughs> they want to touch this ass, okay? They want to fill on these titties. But no, it's it's a very relaxing experience. Like, it's and not you, it's you, not your normal massage. You got a ruffle going on right now or whatever. Like, it's over. I'm it's done. over. Yeah. I'm Are you going to do that again? I am. I am. So that, it, was, it was interesting giving back (laughs) actually it is and actually tonight y'all got lucky tonight because i'm actually gonna give away a free back massage 
Okay. Okay. So that's on me. Two Pretty Spa Teens is going to sponsor a free back massage for one lucky person tonight. So I don't know how we're going to do it, but we're going to do it. So <laughs> you're going to give it. Uh, a, a lucky fan of DojaToja.com and Miss Pretty Eyes, they can win a, a free back massage. Mm -hmm. oh and Doja goodness. will give you guys the details on it. Um, and, you know, just tap in. Um, trust oh me. Goodness. Trust me. This is what you want. So don't miss out. Oh it's not goodness. a raffle. Yeah. It's, it's, it's just a straight giveaway. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I can, yeah, giveaway. yeah, yeah. Well, so. I, I have a contest. We're still going to have a contest. Go, oh, okay. Okay. We'll, we'll, we'll have a contest. I'm gonna design a contest, okay. um, and then that there it is. We give we, uh, sponsored by Two Pretty Spa Tings. Make sure y'all get that on, on Instagram. Yes, figure out, make sure I have that. Two, two Pretty Spa Tings. Now let's talk about his and her logistics. Okay. Um, you getting that truck of money? You go. You go get your. You go start driving. Okay, so I'm not gonna get TDL. No, I'm gonna be more so on the business side. Um, I'm going anyway. to be, you know, handling the payroll, and I'm going away. to be doing the dispatching. Oh, that was the giveaway. Yeah, that, I mean that was that was a pause <laughs> for the giveaway. It was oh. a little late, but uh, <laughs> okay, that was real late. late. <laughs> but yeah. Like dispatching, I um, there's a lot. Are you organized? Actually, I'm actually about to start um, tapping into. Cause you gotta be real the, organized. Cause no, but the thing is, to get to get this though. Dispatchers are making anywhere from fifteen to twenty percent off each load. So if you got an in-house dispatcher and you ain't gotta pay nobody to dispatch you. Somebody you was just trying to saying? put me on to, to that or whatever. And I ain't as organized, but it was like, yeah, man, get your shit together. And they actually so that, have classes at North Campus right. downtown. Yeah, yeah, I've already looked into Somebody it. Somebody was just so trying to put me on to that. Yeah, it's very... Dispatching. Yeah, it's very lucrative for any trucking so business. Did I, did I say it right? The, uh, his, his, his and hers. His and hers logistics. logistics. Mm -hmm. um, y'all y'all up and running? When will that be ready? Actually... His and hers logistics starts operating this year. Um, in the next coming months, we will be hiring for Class A CDL drivers. Um, my significant other has been in this business for 14, 15 years. So I trust him. I trust his judgment um, and everything. So Sorry, fellas, man. Sorry, everybody. Y'all heard what she said. Yeah. You know, she in business. So yeah. that's it. It, it. it might be kind of serious once you start making money together. Yeah, we, 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 we <laughs> you know, we, we have a business together and um, everything seems to be going smooth right now. Look, you know, it's about, at the end of the day, it's about getting that bag. You know what I mean? Because I'm a woman who likes nice things. I'm sure all, all us women like nice things. Yeah. Um, I like to spend money, okay? <laughs> um, my wee habit is more than some of y'all rent probably <laughs> for real um so i have to make money there's no doubt about it and i'm not no needy bitch i don't sit up and just let a nigga just you know take care of me you know I, we don't get me wrong we we like niggas who put put in you know dish out all that but i prefer to have my own too so i'm a hustler i gotta make me some money if i ain't making no money i don't feel right okay so yeah Okay, well, uh, yeah, I know you're going to make some money. I know that. That's one thing about pretty. She's going to make some money. So, anything else that you might be interested in getting into? I want to tap into the real estate market. Um, I actually want to try and get my license. I was told some things would hinder me from getting it. Um, but I'm not sure if that's true. I got to look more deeper into it. But I'm interested in maybe flipping some properties, buying some houses. Um, more so the neighborhood that I grew up in because it's a lot of abandoned properties over there. So if I could buy back buy back my block. Buy back the block. Man, that'll be like a big accomplishment. Like, So yeah, I want to tap into that. All right, so let's get into top fives. Okay. And 
This is Fade Fives, Top Fives. It's fairly simple. It's kind of it's time we could shot people out, whatever, whatever. But you know, I want you to name five for you. Can you name five? Five. Five strip clubs. <laughs> five, your your favorite five top Do they five have to strip be clubs. No, I mean five strip clubs. Okay. However, however your criteria from 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 visiting or making money or okay. whatever. Okay, okay, mascaras is number one. Mascaras, shout okay, out to mascaras. Shout out to mascaras. Frank Colleon, yeah. what it's so. Um, and I, and I, and I, I shout out Mascara. Yeah, R.I.P. Definitely, my boss. Definitely, definitely, R.I.P. my boss. And I shout out mascaras because mascaras was a part of who Pretty Eyes was, you know. They helped me build my little legacy, you know, in the dancing world and I threw a lot of parties in there. So yeah, shout out mascaras. Okay. And then I'm gonna say the office, Miami. The office in Miami. Yes, yes. I love the office, honey. All that ass up in there, baby. Ooh yeah. wee. It's some ass up in there. The office. Try okay. <laughs> Um, let's see. Who DOA. Else we got? Who else we got? DOA. Diamonds of Atlanta? Diamonds of Atlanta. Okay. Yeah. Nice establishment. Yeah, I like Diamonds of Atlanta. Um, That's three. Two more. I'm going to tell you another one of my favorite other Atlanta clubs. Actually, the last, my last ones are going to be Atlanta clubs. But I'm going to say Blue Flame. Blue, Blue Flame, Flame is my motherfucking club. It's, in the, yeah, it's in the hood, but it's still all shit. good. Even though they shot up my homeboy truck and shit last time we was there shit. for my birthday, and he almost ain't make it out of that motherfucker, I still fuck with y'all. <laughs> I used to stay. I used to stay down the street from the Blue Flame. Yeah, know they what crazy. Said? They crazy at the flame. <laughs> Nigga that's, pulled that's up a, with a Uzi. So I know, I know, like, I stay in apartments right down there by the Blue Flame, what man. Shout out to the, uh, the Blue Flame. Okay, one more. Yeah. Um, Follies. I don't think Follies got all the more. bad bitches. I know, I don't, I don't care. But I still, is, I don't care. Follies was the number one strip club in Atlanta. Oh I don't give God. a fuck. They had the prettiest baddest bitches you ever seen in your oh fucking my life. God. You understand me? I remember I went in there with my little scamming friend <laughs> one weekend. He gave me like 20 racks. Do you hit listen to what the fuck I'm telling you? Okay? Y'all some of y'all bitches nigga give y'all 20 racks. Y'all ain't gonna give a bitch for two or three. Y'all gonna cuff it. I gave them bitches 20 racks. Do you understand what I'm saying? 20 yeah, them bitches yeah, bad yeah, in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Follies was that motherfucking club. <laughs> okay, that's Period. a good top five. That's a good <laughs> top five. But can you name strippers, dancers, top five dancers that you might know, famous and famous, whoever, former, you know what I'm saying, active? Is this something that you would be interested in? Or you can take a shot. I'll take a shot if, if you... If you don't want to. All right. We'll pass on that. And then I'll take my shot. All right. So, I can't make it easier for you. Love about top five female artists in the industry. Top five. Number one, Nicki Minaj. Number two, Mulatto. Number three, Okay, keep it going. Let's make it interesting. Yeah. Nicki Minaj, Bilotto. And they ain't in no order, you know. But top fives. Top five. Nicki Minaj, number one. Right Bilotto, now. Number two. Number three, I like. Mm. Damn, I didn't think this would be as hard. Yeah. Wow. Five. Just five. Come on, you can name any any 
Okay, hold up. Cause I like this bitch. She kind of nice. Yeah. Okay. Okay, I like Rennie Rucci. Rennie Rucci. I like Rennie Rucci. Okay. Keep it going. Let's keep it going. That's three. Nicki Minaj, uh, easy. Mulatto, new girl. I mean, Lotto. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's, no political correct. Yeah. Now you got Randy Rucci. You got two more. Okay. I'm going to go with the City Girls. The City Girls? I'm going to go with the City Girls. I fuck with the City Girls. I got to I gotta, I gotta shout out the City Girls. Okay. That's four. Can I name that? All right. I'm gonna, I, I, I'll tell you what. I'm going to give you a break. I'm gonna say JT and Young and Young Miami. That's five right there. I'm gonna give you a break, City Girls. You got a, you got a, you got you got a bonus. You know what I'm saying that count for double. I'm gonna let you get double on that. But now, top five female rappers only in Jacksonville. Mm. Yeah, I want to start off with applause. Cause yeah, thank y'all. Yeah, I know. Top five, name five. I'll let you use yourself. I'll give you another mulligan. Are, are, we, do, we doing top five? I mean, we just And I'm using five. myself? I mean, yeah. I'll do. Well, I'm number one. Okay. Pretty eyes. The originator, the originator of the, originator. a lot of this shit. The queen. The best kept secret. Yes. Yours truly. Yes. Don't talk that to shit. Me. Okay, but yeah, yeah. Now that you don't talk that shit. Congratulations. Thank you. But now, four more. Four more. Yeah, that's because this is what they want. I, I have requests of this. Top five female artists. Duval. Okay. No so order. I'm going to go with my number two top choice in Duval after me would be Tokyo Jets. Tokyo Jets. I, I like Tokyo Jets. Okay. Because you know, on this show, we ain't about how they try to pit everybody against everybody. This ain't about that. This is about just keep it real. Mm-hmm. Is that, If you can name five, name five. If you can't, we'll move on. And I'll take this I'm shot. I'm going to go. My number three top pick would be many or more. Many or more's name been coming up quite a bit on the other side of the roll up. I, I'm not I, that close I, to I many or more. Somebody put me on to a Shout out right, to many or more. On, come tell your story, That's many. my baby. That's my boo. You're hey, welcome baby. to come on the show and, 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 and talk you. I love okay. many. So that's, you got two more. That's three. Yeah, two more. Two more. Come on. Mmm. This is always like the most hardest thing, like by the way, everybody. <laughs> like they'll tell you, they'll talk about everything, everybody they'll talk about, you know what I'm saying? They used to sell My dope. number four. They'll talk about how they used to strip, but they don't want to name five fives. I'm a, a my, my, my number four <laughs> pick artist is C Now. C Now, okay. Let's get to it. I got to get. I got to give my dog her flowers. The, the, the respect. See I now. Got to, I got to give my I'm dog her flowers. I'm a shot just for that. No saying. I play retaliation or whatever. Uh, see now, I'm gonna give it to you. She, she, she nice. I'm not gonna lie. She nice. Okay. So, one more. Yeah, one more. By the way, you say you you, 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 you are you active? You getting back active? Music? Yeah. You, we were talking about 56 bars. We, we, I heard something yeah. about a 56 bar yeah. takeoff. Mm-hmm. That might mean, so that means you active. I'm active. I'm back, bitches. <laughs> By the time this hit the scene, you should be active then. I'm back, bitches. Because see, I done gave y'all a lot of time. I done had a baby. I done been engaged two or three times. I been, I been, I been all over the place. And y'all bitches, y'all come on now. I've gotten older, but I don't look old. I look good, okay? Oh, yeah, yeah. Let's be clear, all right? Shouts out to that. 
Shouts out to that. So, you know, I always said hey, if I tap back in, you know, I tap back in, you know, y'all bitches in trouble. You know, every time I tap in, you bitches be in trouble anyway. You know what I'm saying? Cause I'm I'm I like to take over shit. You know, I don't I don't really <laughs> see competition when I'm doing my thing. So if I catch you bitches in my way, you already know what time it is. Okay? Uh, so I, I mean I'm just laying the inevitable. You got one more you got a name. I'm gonna delay the inevitable, but you that actor. Number five, Duval County. I'll give it to Chameleon. Okay. That's a good top five. Miss Pretty Eyes, Many and More, Tokyo Jets, C Now, and Chameleon. That is dope as fuck and you know there's still kind of some may make it some some of this story may make it I feel like there's still a lot more going on cause I remember there was a track that I remember getting together it was many or more pretty eyes I've been in the studio with many or more pretty eyes at Chameleon at the same time mm-hmm. yeah Frost actually did a track <laughs> uh, we actually left the yeah, Diamond Awards and went to, straight to the studio shout and out to the Frost track, man so. Jay Frost shout out to Jay Frost so since we on producers top five That's my Duval boo. producers name five Duval producers I'm let you. I'm let you ride. I'm saying this might be the last one. Can you do this one? I can definitely do this one. This is easy for you because you top work with a lot. five producers. Duval. Duval County. My top five. My number one. Let's get these flowers. Would be Brain Productions. Brain Productions. Maniac. Uh. What else he did? But, uh, help me out. Uh, Brain did Maniac. Break, break him off? Did, uh, uh, no, TJ did break him off. Brain also did... Uh, 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 oh, gosh, you got me thinking on the mic right now. Yeah, oh, yeah, I know. I've, I've he, been having he produced a drink. about three tracks on the mixtape, okay, okay. though. That's what I do know, about two or three of them. Um, but um, top five, number two. Number two would probably go to MGZ. Yeah. Number two would probably go to MGZ. You know, it ain't no particular order. Just name five. But number two, MGZ. Yeah. Shout out to um the, shout out to MGZ. The phenomenon. Yes, because you know, I love my boo and he's the shit and all of that. So, um, number three. <sighs> Listen, I absolutely love this person I'm about to say. Like he is the definition of my sound he is he don't even have to be in the studio with me and he can just make me something and he knows i'ma like it he know tj the beat man simon yeah he is he is so slept on he is so talented shout out to tj i love you forever um kiss the wife and the baby for me all of that so we got one more I think wait no, uh, Brainy, Brainy. It's Brain MGZ. And brain, so it's two MG. More. Okay, two more, two more. Okay, so. I might be skipped ahead. I skipped ahead one. Mm-hmm. So, I'm gonna say Shanti. Shanti. I gotta go. say Shanti. Yeah, definitely. Um, that's another one that's that slept on. All the all the real. Rappers know yeah, what's up yeah. with Shanti, but he, he, on, he but slept. We know. He slept on a, a, a slightly, a little bit. Um, but yeah, definitely Shanti. Um, and then number five um, is probably gonna go to Brian Harris. Okay, be easy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's a good. That's yeah. a good list. Yeah, he he. Um, be easy, MGZ. Brain Productions, Sean T, and TJ the Beat Man. Simon. Five. I fucked up order, but that was a good. That's a good top fives. Duval producers. We giving flowers. We don't you know say we give flowers to the artists, and the artists turn back around and give flowers to 
away on the, on the roll up, and I appreciate that, man. We smoke flowers and give flowers. So yeah, man. Um, that was that's 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 good. That's a good list. I think I got one more top fives. One more top fives. Okay. Uh, can I get a top five? Stylists, people that may have styled you, and then if you can't name five, I can, I can, I can do that. Um, people that may have stopped five stylists. I wanted to do something that was kind of like different, yeah, different. Um, okay, so hmm, maybe you haven't worked with them and you want to work with them. Number, number one, top five stylists. Oh. I, who I want to work with and who I want to be styled by is Shane Justin. Yeah, if if I could be styled by Shane Justin, that would be really dope. Okay, Shane Justin. Yeah, he's he's like um, really popular right now. Um, but my favorite stylist right now, um, who actually just styled my recent photo shoot, um, would be Brandon. Brandon. Brandon, Brandon, yes, let me tell you something. Brandon is See, I don't know nothing at, about this world. Put us on, put us yeah, on. Yeah, he's, he's good at what he do. Um, oh, wow, he's just... I remember the first time he ever styled me. He looked at me, went and picked out three items. And when I tell you all three items fit me like, like a glove, this man had never styled me before a day in his life. That was his very first time, and he like hit it on the nail. So yeah, shout outs to Brandon, cause yeah, he's good. Okay. Um, number three would be Capiche Designs. Capiche Designs. Yes. You guys probably know her now more for her furniture making and celebrity stylist. I ain't got um, no style. She making. I might stuff. need some yeah, help. She, <laughs> Y'all come holler at me or whatever. I'm yeah. tagging all these folks and I'm looking yeah. these folks up. Capiche Designs. Yeah, she's hella talented. I don't know if she's still sewing for people because she kind of like started doing furniture and stuff like that. But yeah, Capiche Designs, definitely. Definitely. She styled a lot of pretty eyes, honey. Trust me. Yeah, okay. So, number four. Um... I'm gonna go with Miss Charlene. Miss Charlene. Miss Charlene. That's her name. Miss Charlene. Everybody know Miss Charlene. <laughs> Let me tell you something, honey. If you were getting clothes <laughs> made back in the day, you knew Miss Charlene, honey. Okay. <laughs> Miss Charlene was that. Excuse my friends, Miss Charlene. Don't please don't be mad at me. I know you're a child of God, but Miss Charlene was that bitch. Okay. <laughs> Miss Charlene ain't played a motherfucking radio. Okay. But she sold a lot for me. She put up with my shit, my complaining, my crying, my bitching. She 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 was awesome. Yeah, see that's why she, that's she why was awesome. it's, you know top five stylists. Like shout out to Miss Shirley. Okay, number five. And last but not least, you may know her for her elegant prom dresses. You may know her for her work. Um, outside of the seamless, seamstress world, or you may know her as uh, Mrs. Michelle, but I know her as Mrs. Y Boutique. Y Boutique. Why? Y Boutique. Y Boutique. Okay. Yes. Okay. I, yes. I was real awful. Um, Why? Boutique. She, yeah, she's a hell of a designer. She's, she's made me a couple things. Um, she's the truth. She's good at what she does. Shout, shout out to out. the stylist, man. Style is very important in, in every industry. And um, I wanted to do a little something different, whatever. So I was like, yeah, man, she do. I was like, one thing about it. I was like, learn. I learned a lot. Again, you learned me working with a woman in the industry. You're going to have to have a good stylist. Mm -hmm. And you're going to have to, you know, put that together, whatever, because it'd be putting together pieces, as they say. And if you don't know a good stylist, then you, you know, you know, 
You ain't getting those. Uh, you ain't getting a in, in position. I would say. So, um, I think that was top fives, man. That was yeah. great top fives. I, we took a shot. We, we gave some flowers, gave some love. Shout out to his and her logistics. Yes, on the rise. On we will be rise. hiring soon. So any of you who have a class A, let me let me be specific, because there's a difference. Class A yeah, means yeah, you're anybody. operated to your your license to operate semi trucks. Not box trucks. Okay, not box trucks. Box okay, trucks, then. you can have a class B, no okay. problem. But when operating 18 wheelers or any type of semi trucks, you have to have a class A license. So, class A license, looking for work. In the next month or two, we're going to be up and running. We're going to have our authority and we're going to be up and running. So, let's go. All right, all right, all right. And um, pro two pretty spot teams. Y'all follow. Two pretty spot yes. teams on the uh, Follow Instagram. Follow me on Instagram. Two, the number two, pretty spa teams with a Z. Okay? Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna make sure it's there. Yeah. I'm gonna make sure it's there. It's whatever. official. Follow right. me, y'all. Come and get that good massage. Get that good rub down. Appreciate Let me treat it. You and how and I'll, I'll be treated. announcing. We gonna announce or whatever um, throughout the week. We gonna announce the contest, and on the next show. We'll announce the winner on, on, on 56. Is that all right with you? Uh, that's the winner on, on my next show. But yes. look out for this show on YouTube. Um, of course, you're probably already watching it on YouTube. Follow Miss Pretty Eyes on Instagram, all social networks. Any uh, Wait, wait, wait. I got one more question, a hard question, and then I'm going to let you get some shout outs. Okay. What new artists would you like to work with? I'm gonna let you get. It's a two-part question. Industry and city-wise, could you name a new artist since you, you know, that you would like to feature with? You know, what I'm saying that they hit you up for a feature, you hit in the studio immediately and getting on, getting on that track in the city. Cause Duval on the rise right now. Matter of fact, Duval is is hot right now. I agree. In, in the industry. I agree. It's the roll up. Duval County and in the industry, what features is Miss Pretty Eyes jumping on immediately? Shout it in the me, how to stand out, hit me, knock the dreads out. Hey, spot them, got him, spot them, got him. Period, spot them, got him. Call me, hey. <laughs> Okay, okay, Spot McConnell. <laughs> yeah, Spot McConnell hot right now. He, right. He hot and, and he going to get it even hotter, so that's a good choice. Okay, industry-wise. Industry-wise. But new. Anybody? No, oh, they got to be new? They got to be new. Okay, yeah, I mean, new. yeah, yeah, yeah. No, 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 anybody, uh, anybody, anybody, anybody. Anybody in the industry that you could work with, dream feature. You know, I was thinking about this the other day, and I told somebody this. And I know when they watch it, they're going to be it's like, It's a yes, manifest, that. manifestation part. But I am, listen, I know that I'm known for rapping and stuff, but I'm like an R&B junkie. So my dream is to work with LMA. LMA, listen to me. LMA? LMA. I know all your ad-libs. <laughs> I know all your fucking songs, LMA. Listen, <laughs> LMA. I know all that shit. Uh, girl, listen, you've helped me through so much, girl. <laughs> listen, I love you, girl. Let's work. Let's, tell me. let's work. <laughs> Try to tell me. Let's work. Put that in the world. Let's manifest. Let's put yes. that in the world. Yes. <laughs> now we're going to give some shout outs. The shout out that I'm going to ask you to give this is Mind Your Black Owned Business. Let's mind somebody's black owned business. Let's give a shout out to a black owned business of your choice. Um, no. I'm going to give a shout out to Sixella Tax Services. Okay, black owned um, business. Black owned business, Sixella. Um, listen, you need those taxes filed. 
you need accounting done, you need, um, you know, business taxes filed, whatever you need, go and see her. They're located on Old St. Augustine Road, um, Sixella Financial Tax Services, yeah, give, whatever y'all need. Address they, they, sure they got them. that work. They got that work. Them. Holla at them. Period. Final shout outs. Final shout outs. Thank you for being here for one. You know what I'm saying? Um, thank you thank for thank you having for, me, for, Doja. For, you know, this is a long time coming. Yeah, like, we should have been there. This we year. need to have this conversation or whatever. Definitely. And, and, um, you know, I want to shout out anybody who has ever doubted me. <laughs> you know, I want to shout y'all out. It's, I'm, listen, I'm going to give y'all a platform right now. <laughs> okay? You enjoy this because you ain't gonna get it again. But you know, y'all have. You like to feel that pressure, or whatever that. Like. Y'all have always <laughs> been the reason why I just go so fucking hard. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh man, keep doubting me. You know, hey, just man. keep doubting me. This- You've never been able to stop me. You're never gonna stop me. I dropped a song called "Never Gonna Stop." Listen, <laughs> it's nothing you can do. Get over it. You know, get join the you know, y'all like to dick ride anyway and join bad wagon. So yeah, jump yeah. on the bad wagon, you know, get with the people who love me, who support me, who respect me, um, and, and, and love me and stuff and just, you know, support me. I'm a black sister doing her thing. It's no reason to hate on me. I ain't fucking nobody, man. You know what I'm saying? I ain't shitting nobody, I ain't mistreating nobody. I'm a good person. So learn to love me. Okay, cause I'm a lovable person. And and you you out here? What you like, for? Like you on your hustle? You hustling? I'm hustling. I'm a Anybody black, else I'm a black you queen. Shout- you should be proud of me. So shout out to the doubters. Shout Period. out to the haters. Yes. Y'all created a monster. Y'all you know did. It. Y'all, y'all, y'all did it. So don't be crying <laughs> talking about what she do. Y'all did it. Shit. <laughs> Y'all created a fucking monster. I'm, I'm telling you, that's you. what did it. Like, yeah. that's really what did it. Like, the doubters, and uh, she, she, you, you gonna fall off or whatever this and that. Like, yeah, I know how you roll. It was fuel to my yeah, fire. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know. <laughs> <laughs> For sure. So, it, any other shout outs that you want to give? Like, so yes, this I want to be the only. Show I want to give a shout out to all my babies, my babies, my babies. Um, Nateria, my baby, my oldest baby. And Tanaya, my little baby. And my goddaughter, Michaela. I want to give a shout out to my girls. Um, my godson, Duca. I want to shout him out too. Um, and I also want to shout out a couple of people who support me. I want to shout out Dre Jenkins, my cameraman. Um, Cause he goes really hard for me. He makes sure that I have the visuals I need. Um, you know, he supports my dreams. He believes in me, and he's just an overall good friend. So shout out to Dre. Um, shout out to um, Baby Mama, cause that's my boo, and that's my baby. And she was my Valentine baby, this year. Baby okay. Mama. Okay. Baby, baby Mama. mama. Okay. Baby shout mama. out to Baby Mama. But that's my boo thing, okay? Um, she don't get enough credit, you know. She she do a lot for a lot of people, and she don't get enough credit, you know what I'm saying? So I'm, I want to give you your credit, baby. You know what I'm saying? I love you. So shout out to you, baby mama. Shout out, okay. um, baby mama. And um, I want to shout out Brandon. Hey, okay. Brandon. Brandon the stylist. Brandon the stylist. That's all you need I to wanna, know. I want to shout Brandon out because, you know, lately he's been, like, really focused and making sure Pretty Eyes got what she need for her shoots and just overall just making sure I'm good. Um, he's also going to be the stylist for 56 Bars video. He's styling the whole entire video, and he's directing it. So I'm excited about that. So shout out to Brandon. Brandon. Um... Yeah, <clears throat> that's it. That's it. Like anybody else? Yeah. Um, and this- yeah, let me tell y'all something, okay? Y'all gotta give me my motherfucking credit too when credit is due, okay? 
Stop using past situations to try to get to me. You know what I'm saying? Don't be trying to come in here and just make things what you want it to be. Have an open mind and understand that just because things aren't the way you want them to be don't mean that they ain't right. You understand what I'm saying? That go for any one of y'all. Y'all need to take, anybody listening right now, take that into consideration. You know what I'm saying? People have their own lives. Everybody got something going on. You know what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, if you really fuck with somebody, have an understanding with that person. Be understanding. Be respectful at the end of the day. Because yeah. that's, that's what it's about. You know, it's not about what you did for somebody, you know, because they could easily say they did, they did things for you, too, you know. So at the end of the day, just, you know, be solid, okay, and be loyal. For real. For those that are loyal to you. Yeah. Because, I mean, again, we've had our, we've had our times. Mm -hmm. We had our situation or whatever, mm -hmm. like. You weren't speaking to me for a while. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? But I know you'll come around. <laughs> I got a picture of you right now. I got I had to break them off shirt, man. I used to wear them. You know what I'm saying? Right. I know you'll come around. I wasn't right. even tripping. Right. You know what I'm saying? They like, how can I ever hate hate yeah. you or whatever? It's it, it's never been any sexual situation which with, with me and you. Not that you're not beautiful or nothing like that right. or nothing. I'm saying I'm not attracted to you. I'm not attracted to you, but right. not that I wouldn't be attracted to you. It's just I'm not attracted to yeah. you. Yeah, you don't you don't see me you don't see me in that light. Well, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you and that's me why off. you made me mad. Yeah, I pissed you off like, many times. Right, like, and that's the thing. Like, that's why I have so much respect for you, Doja, saying, because it, you you went through you. I knew I didn't have to fuck my way to the top. Does that make sense? Yeah, but it, yeah, because yeah, people yeah, like yeah, you yeah, were in yeah. my life. Really helping me, cause and, ain't a lot, and, ain't, and not ain't, asking ain't lot, for ain't, much. Ain't, you know? a lot, ain't a lot of, ain't a lot of me's. Ain't no, a lot of me. no, it's not. Everybody have, have always asked me. That's only I don't even want to like put it out there like that. But it, yes, I have to put it out there like that. Cause yeah, I would get tired of that. Like just because I work with someone that's beautiful like you, it's like you can be around her like that and not, I'm like bro nah bro it's not even like that like and if you like yeah good luck bro you know what I'm saying like yeah, you, you know, know what I'm saying? people gotta people gotta stop man like, but I, I I just been on that you know what I'm saying I been on that I'm still on that you know what I'm saying right it, it is what it is like you know what I'm saying like right. but you went past homegirl status like it was like okay cause you know when I needed you, you took care of me or whatever, and you right. taught me things. It was a time we had our situations, but I think we grown past that, whatever. And right. even like, and even then, I was like, yeah, it's all good. Like, <laughs> I get it, but the future is what we're doing now. Being able to talk about that shit, being able to still respect each other, and like, again, when you call me. You know I'ma pull up. You know what I'm saying? Like if it's like for real, for real. You know what I'm saying? Like on something that you really need. Right. Like, or you might you, you matter of fact you do. Like you might just what you think about this or this yeah. and this. Like you know I'ma tell you, hey nah, I don't like this or mm -hmm. or nah, I'm fucking with you on this. Like I'ma be real with you. Mm -hmm. Like that's yeah, what you Yeah, that's one thing I can say about you. Like That's what I'm here for. Mm -hmm. So it's Doja told you, like you are one Doja of the Doja. people that I was like, I told you, I told you, Period. like, you could try to avoid it. You can't afford her. She's, yeah, yeah, you, yeah. Yeah. And all you got to do is really, it's, it, it's going to take some hard work, but don't go at it like you, don't go at it for the money. Right. Go at it because you love music. You mm -hmm. good at it. Mm -hmm. And you can do a number of things. And I think that's why I messed up at in the past. I never just enjoyed it. I've always tried to treat it as a business, so to speak. And I never won that way. So now, this time around, I just, I just overall just missed it. Like how you said LMA, like, like that was, yeah. that to me, that like, just enjoy, like yeah, go for enjoy, what yeah, feels like, good. Yeah, exactly. And I just, me honestly, I just miss being in the booth. Like I miss hearing myself on the mic. You don't understand. Like 
I went into depression when I stopped doing music. A lot of people don't know that, but I did. Um, and for a while, I didn't even know who I was yeah, anymore. It, it's, it's, a hard, it's, it's a hard drug, though. It's, yeah, it is it a is. drug. It is it a is. drug. I ain't going to say it's like... It's very addictive. It's, it's very addictive. Yeah. It is a drug, but I'm telling you like how to cope with it and how the streaming game go. All you have to do is just drop. You know what I'm saying? You got right. a number. You could drop on OnlyFans first. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of things you can do. Mm -hmm. And you can take it there. But you don't have to, you know what I'm saying? Like, you could take it there and not take it there, like, on a number, number of levels. Because right now, like, it's like, again, Doja told you, like, female, like, I ain't even gonna say, the ladies, the women of rap, of the rap culture, that's, I mean, they run the shit. Right. And at one point, you were showing them how to run these laps. So I'm sure that you can run laps around these the competition. You know what I'm saying? Or at least run with them. Right. That's basically, that's my speech to you, like, for on, on some real shit, like, because I love music. I know that, I believe in you on, the, on like, on the, in your talent and your pen, but you're going to have, it's, you're going to doubt. Going to doubt. Mm -hmm. And, um, just get, you get active Record with different people. Like, just, you know, open up. You mean like video-wise? No, nah, not video-wise. Or just music-wise? Just music-wise. I mean, any kind, yeah. any kind of way. Just be in the in, in the rooms, like, kind of open up or whatever on that level or whatever. Because it's like, we kind of... For me, I feel like I have to do that now, too. Because it's like, I feel like I'm being judged on the level of you what ain't have been around and you don't know. Right. So I was like, all right. Mm -hmm. Let me go in there, however it is, whatever. So that's why I asked you, you know, new folks that you might want to, you know, rap with, whatever, like. And then, you know, get your dream, your dream uh, raps out the way. And then, you know, the little Wayne feature ain't that far away. <laughs> you might get it one day. Period. Let's get that little Wayne feature though. You know what I'm saying? Let's Woo. like, and that I'm talking that shit to up. me. Like, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, man. Um, I thank you for being a part of this or uh, whatever. You like, I, I can't thank wait till you come back. Me. I can't wait till you come back. Fifty Six Bars is about to be released. It should be out by the time some folks watch this. Um, yeah. Go check out the Valentine's Day tease again. Get what y'all can get now, fellas, whatever like it is, because you know, like you said, you take, you, you, a lot of that stuff is, is over with, but at the same time, dealing with a queen. Yeah, trust me, y'all still gonna y'all still gonna like my OnlyFans. Yeah. It's just gonna be a little more toned down, a little more. You dealing classy. with a queen though, like yeah, but be yeah. that queen though, man. Like you like. I wanna I ask y'all something. Y'all want a bitch on their back forever? I'm just saying, you 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 want a bitch to die a hoe? I, I'm just saying, because it's almost like y'all like when the life ain't all the way right, or when the life is like up and down. But when a bitch got it all the way together, y'all start hating. I don't understand that. Nah, man, you help me understand that, cause I, it, it's hard to be ahead of the race, man. Like you said, it's hard being trendsetters and kind of leading the way or whatever. Like sometimes, whatever. I feel like I. That's why I connect with you, like, and I learned from you, and that's why I, I'm giving you your flowers because I know I, I'm always ahead. So, right. Even when we take a break, that shit ain't shit because we can get right back in the race and we just be ahead, like, for no right. reason, like, and whatever we do, right. You know what I'm saying? And right. whatever field, real estate, whatever you decide to do. You automatically run at a certain pace because you have the you set expectations, and that's beautiful, man. Just keep going, and I and I got your back, and then we, we we'll see each other, you know. And I got your front, <laughs> Miss Pretty Eyes, man. She's still rolling up, man. The show's yeah, over. She's still rolling up. I got it. I know, like right? the show's over. <laughs> I ain't stopped. She's still rolling, rolling up. up, man. Shout out to the, uh, Doja Pack. Shout out to DojaToja.com and, and the roll up, man. Who's next?
DojaToja.com.